I'm Rémi Casabé, I'm associate professor in University Claude Bernard in Lyon and in the Lyris lab. And my research focuses on machine learning, network analysis, and analysis of, in particular of cryptocurrencies and other blockchain data. I think that AI and blockchain are both important topics for science and for society, and that there is a lot of potential in combining the two. One example in which uh, blockchain can be very useful for, the, for artificial intelligence is the context of accessing uh, high quality information, for instance. So you know that uh, to train an artificial intelligence algorithm, such as a large language model, such as ChatGPT, for instance, um, one needs to access high quality information. But the, uh, who can access this kind of information, sharing this information, uh, is often a problem. Particular information is often produced by users and they, these users might uh, have some uh, opinion about uh, what company, for, for instance, can access their information and for what uh, usage. So we could imagine that using blockchain and smart contracts, users could share their data in a way such as uh, a company would have to access it through a smart contract and um, only access it if it's for a usage that the, uh, uh, the, the producer agrees with. And even we can imagine data monetization with the company having to pay something to the producer to access this high quality information in exchange of a guarantee of the quality of the, of the information. Another example in which uh, blockchain could be very useful in the context of artificial intelligence is with uh, certificate of authenticity without the need of a third party. So um, you know that with NFT, for instance, you can prove that a piece of information like a picture, a photo, a video, whatever, uh, is uh, indeed created by some, uh, some well, it's authentic, it's, uh, it's the original one. And um, so you could imagine that when uh, a photograph, a journalist or some other authorized person, uh, trustable person, uh, uh, take a photo and put it online, they can associate it with an NFT. And so um, anyone could then check that this information is indeed authentic by, uh, by using this NFT. Uh, and this could help to increase the trust into um, into information and thus allows uh, then makes uh, a generative AI more acceptable for society. Uh, but artificial intelligence can also be useful for blockchain. And uh, for this last example, I will take uh, something from my own research in which we are using uh, techniques from artificial intelligence, such as, for instance, graph neural network to check what is happening inside blockchain. So you know that uh, when you have a public blockchain, like most uh, of the largest ones, um, what is very interesting is that anyone can go there and check what is happening even in, in real time. So you can observe all the activities of all the, um, the, 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 the entities of the ecosystem of these blockchains. So for instance, in Ethereum, you can observe uh, NFTs, you can observe smart contract and how uh, 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 people interact with them. So we call this a socio-technical system and uh, using artificial intelligence technique, one can uh, uh, check this information and uh, for instance, search to detect uh, suspicious activities or, or crime. And it's of course essential for a blockchain to be trustable and so to become more widespread that people can trust them and so that we are able to fight, for instance, these uh, illegal activities taking place on some blockchains. So uh, in this context, we are using artificial intelligence to uh, make those blockchain more um, uh, acceptable for society.